That would be pretty sweet. I could just have like ten fucking light hammers. Jesus. And I could throw them. Just keep chucking hammers at the enemy. I just have fucking hammers. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ha! Oh, don't enter res mode. I'm speaking this here. Mace does a D6 bludgeoning. I feel like I can have a mace in a, a fucking flame. Yeah, that'll work. Come on. So now I gotta read this whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, the guy that owned this house loved reading. What do you want to know? Uh, I'll be here for a minute. Yeah, hold on, guys. <laughs> So how do I do my domains? What's the deal with the domains? You see that? I have no idea. I don't, my my domain is the fucking circle of the moon, but that's like a druid thing. I have to choose a circle, not like a domain. It's like a circle of the land, circle of the moon. And the moon is what gives me the ability to transform into challenge rating one higher. The, um, the other game, I was just able to be like, uh, I'm not going to use my stone skin, I'm going to use my cure light wounds. I could just be like, no, that's my domain spell now. No, actually, I'm lying to you. No, I think you had to choose domain spells, too. I don't know. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Ah, oh. God, he hits with that every fucking time. Oh my god. Can we not? So what is a fucking Can ritual? Can I'm just gonna leave that on my phone. Can we not? No, oh, who sent me a message now? Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh my god, Tish, go away! <sighs> Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition ritual casting. I still don't understand, because, like, I can already cast all these fucking things. Oh, no, I can't. But why would I choose the life domain? If I can already cast Bless and Cure Wounds. When you choose this domain at first level, you gain proficiency with heavy armor. Well, that's why you take it. <laughs> There's your answer. No. Use your challenge to heal the badly injured. As an action, you present your holy symbol and evoke healing energy that can restore a number of hit points equal to five times your character level. Choose any creature within 30 feet of you and divide those hit points among them. Oh shit! Oh, this feature can can restore a creature to no more than half of its current. on a better card. Beginning at sixth level, the healing spells you cast on others heal you as well. Nice. That's pretty nutty. I don't get a lot, 
but I gained some, which, if I'm gonna be a cleric, I'm gonna be the tank too, so I'm always gonna need healing. Yeah, exactly. Which makes it that much better. Uh, we already have a druid, I don't need nature. So, the only things that would make sense if I was. I want to go as a human, it would either be life or war. Oh shit! War bonus proficient. Oh no, no. You get proficiency with heavy armor. As war, I gain proficiency with martial weapons and heavy armor. So I can go back to weapons. Bull fucking shit, man. Yeah, that was a whole Saturday, but and you got much further in I the hour. Switched it and playing the fucking Dragon Lord for a while. The Dragon Lord? The oh. Plusidux. And he does this when he does the half health swoop thing. It's fucking me up. Jesus Christ, when you make an attack roll, you can use your channel divinity to gain a plus 10 to the roll. Oh, damn. That's a lot like an auto success unless you roll a 1. At 6th level, I could use my reaction to give Potter a plus 10 to his next attack roll. Jeez, yeah. Damn, like in the war one. Divine Favor, Shield of Faith, yep, yep. Magic Weapon, Spiritual Weapon, yep, yep. Procedures, Mantle, Spirit Grip, yup, yup. Who would have fucking thought? He's weak to his own lightning! Oh my god. I just <laughs> used like three ancient dragon's lightning strikes and killed him. He's just fucking dead. He is dead. Remembrance of the Dragon Lord. That was dumb. <laughs>